My name is Olumide, and I'm reading from Philippians chapter 1, verses 22 to 27. But if living will give me more opportunities to win people to Christ, then I really don't know which is better, to live or die. Sometimes I want to live, and at other times I don't. For I long to go and be with Christ. How much happier for me than being here. But the fact is that I can be of more help to you by staying. Yes, I am still needed down here. And so I feel certain I will be staying on earth a little longer to help you grow and become happy in your faith. My staying will make you glad and give you reason to glorify Christ Jesus for keeping me safe when I return to visit you again. But whatever happens to me, remember always to live as Christians should, so that whether I ever see you again or not, I will keep on hearing good reports that you are standing side by side with one strong purpose, to tell the good news. And verse 27 really strikes me there and um, talks about, you know, Paul was saying here, whatever happens to me, okay, to him, we should always remember to live as Christians should. So much has been said about this time, you know, this period being um, a period of reset, and um, I couldn't agree less. Okay, but however, I, I want us to take them, I want us to maximize um, the opportunity we have now, okay, during this lockdown and restricted uh, meetings and all that stuff, to, to, to be able to draw closer to God, okay, through prayers, um, meditation on the Word of God, you know, and then, like the Bible says in Second Timothy chapter two, verse fifteen, okay, we should, you know, we should be like the workman that understands the word and rightly divides the word of truth. Okay, this is a time for us to actually dig deep, you know, and deeper into the word of God and draw closer to Him through prayers and meditation. You know, and the Bible also mentions people who talks about people who hear the word of God. And do it, it says they are like the solid a house that is built upon a solid rock. The rains come, the storms come, the winds blow, the house stands. But somebody who hears the word and doesn't do it is like the person that built the house on the sand. The rains come, the storms come, and great to, that, great to be the fall of the house. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Okay? I commend you unto the grace of God, and I wish you all the best as um, we draw closer to God and then um, receive inspiration and unction from the Holy Spirit. God bless you.